have hope. It that was ice cream cake, right? Yep. It was. <laughs> that was dumb. Was. It was. I don't think things through. Ice cream cake's the best. That's cake not though. your fault. I don't don't like blame yourself. I don't like Thanks. regular cake. I love Carvel cake. Like regular cake? Car- Carvel the ice cream Carvel. cake. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ice cream cake. Yeah. Regular cake, I don't like. Cupcakes, fucking hate them. Really? Yeah. Hates is a yeah. strong word. I don't know why. <laughs> I just don't like them. You really offer them to you, like, I know I hate those. Yeah, like, and they. What about they red get, velvet? They get the, uh, no, I don't fuck you with don't that. You don't fuck with red velvet no, cupcakes? I don't fuck with any of that, really. No cupcakes? No. Red velvet are I like really banana bread. What, okay, yeah. first, all right. But it has some chocolate chips in it. You lost I, I make a really good banana bread. Like, you really? Lost you? With, with chocolate chunks. I didn't chunks. lose. I have a fucking, she's going to make me banana bread. Yeah, I have a really good recipe. My neighbors taught me. Okay, but you can't me. say you're so, you can't take such a strong stance on cupcakes and, and be pro-banana bread. They're not banana, pro bread, banana bread cupcakes. Bread. No. They're bread and cake, totally different texture, yeah. vibe, Yeah, but cup, I mean, taste. at least a red velvet. No, I don't know. I I honestly don't even know if I had red velvet. Maybe that's why. Podcast why. ended before it began. It sounds weird. Did it end already? Velvet. No. Is, okay. Either velvet. Record on banana that. Banana bread, bread velvet. Velvet banana. Velvet banana, banana, banana bread velvet. Bread cake. That sounds like a porn <laughs> star. <laughs> Welcome to bonding with Rachel Ray. Uh, I'm Troy Bond. <laughs> Uh, our t- with my co-host Tori Cole, Cole World, Top Cat. It is I. Cole World. Yeah, I like Jay that. Cole. And uh, like that. our <laughs> special <laughs> guest today, the the great Slater Harrison. Hey. Traveled long distance to get here. Today. I did. Long I did. Distance. It was about thirty-five steps. It's nice comedy being a community because everyone seems to be moving in this neighborhood. So it's real. That's what we were saying. Girl power taking over. Dude, yeah, and it's all I'm the girl comic it down is. here. Yeah. I fucking love what it. What is your exact address again? <laughs> you want me to tell that to the people? Yeah. Yes. Really? Yeah. You're going to cut it out? No. Cut no, that. You tell, that's how we get a bigger <laughs> audience. Oh, I see what you're doing. Stalkers. I was with somebody last night. Uh, <laughs> uh, there was a bunch of people over my apartment, and, and there was a girl who she downloaded Snapchat. Her boyfriend asked her to download Snapchat, which I thought was weird. Mm, uh, and then she weird. was like, what I like about it is I can track his location. Oh. See where he is all the time. Then we found out her location was on. We we're like, you got to turn that off. That's how people get human traffic. And she was like, oh, but am I still gonna be able to see his? <laughs> yeah, I think you can. Yeah, but that wasn't the point. <laughs> I'll like, try to help her out. Okay, I'm gonna keep it on because that means I could still see his. But if I mean that, I have my Snap Maps on, but I never open it. So I think. Can people tell where you are? Only my friends. That's oh, still you can not cool. Okay. Really? Okay, I'll delete Snapchat. I don't I'm want to anyways. That's who kills you. People you know. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Because they know your address. <laughs> you know your address. They know your habits, your weaknesses. All right. I'm going to delete schedule. Snapchat. I go By the on time ghosts. this airs, Tori will have deleted it. So if any of your friends are listening, it's nice try. Yeah. Sorry. Honestly, go going I'm well. too old for it anyways. Uh, people my age too don't old. use Snapchat. I don't really yeah. go on it that much. I'm in ghost mode. No one knows where did I am. Did I record? Did I press record on that camera? Yeah, oh, it's I recording. Did. Okay, cool. That would have been great. Sorry, if Alzheimer's not. are kicking in. <laughs> um, but uh, uh, fresh off of Troy Bond and Friends yeah. this Woo. past week and Friday. That was Friday? Yeah, Friday? Coming. That was Friday. F- What's today? Wow. Today is Wednesday. Wednesday. Oh. This will be out Monday. I'm losing track. Uh, did you either? You get heckled by that uh, by my number one fan. You did. The blonde girl. Yeah. Not really. You didn't. I was the one heckling her the whole show, actually. That's really? Good. Yeah. Good. She had a comment. I needed a host because uh, mine bailed on me, and Tori stepped up to the plate. She said yeah. yes, then she said no, then she said yes. Thank you for being yeah, there. Then it. not being there, then being there for me again. Of course. I appreciate you. Yeah, I had a sandwich. The yes with no's. Yeah. And then I was like, no, no, don't be a bitch. What do you? Yep. What do you like about hosting? Do you like anything about hosting? Some people don't like it. I actually have always wanted to be a host. I like when I when it's I my dream of like a <laughs> show type situation like you and Kelly Ripa with um, coffee and talking about I could uh, say what it like for me about? nothing. Nothing? The news? No, no, that's like cupcake Ryan Se- recipes. Yeah. You yeah. cut you brought that. Cupcakes. I could do that. <laughs> yeah. No, I actually well, I just have a respect for them like I remember when I did industry room, um Casey was hosting Cass Cassie Cassie White. Yes, Cassie. Shout out. And I remember just being so like, this girl's so cool. Like, look at her hosting. And like, I just had this like, I just had painted it so glo- glam, like the glam of being a host. Wow. Now I know that it's quite a lot of work. But 
It's um, quite a lot of work. It is. You're like, I want to be. I want to be cool. It's awkward. There's no really pressure for you. They say like you're just in charge of, you know making it a great show so like no pressure <laughs> no but pressure. all pressure but like you're not supposed to do that great you're supposed to like the comics if the comics do well you do well so as long as you're doing that it's fine um so i i like it in short not to go on a weird <laughs> you've <rant>. been <laughs> you're like host oh uh, my god i've I been waiting for someone to ask me that for so long <laughs> i love hosting you I, you've I've been hosting a lot yeah I'm hosting tonight yeah yeah at yeah the broadmobile Yep, it's going to be great. Uh, we met um, in 2018, I want to say. Yeah, yep. We were at Gotham. Uh, Gotham. We were meeting uh, someone who went on to become my first agent, but uh, we're not no more. together anymore. We broke up mm. um, amicably. Uh, but uh, And we, I think we're talking about Last Jedi at the time. Well, we're yeah, because that Star was Wars. actually my first time you I ever went on stage. Wow, and that's that night, I, yeah, I didn't know that. And that's really, I yeah. thought I told oh, you. Shit. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yep, <laughs> it was too shocking. Too shocking. <laughs> you I couldn't handle it. it. Yeah, it was. I was pretty fucking lit because I was so nervous. I was just slamming G and T's, yeah. kind of like that's, I do now on the weekends. That's what happened um, my first yeah. ever time at Gotham. I I drank s- like probably eleven screwdrivers. Went on stage, blew the light. They flashed me the flashlight. Then they cut the mic. Like they flashed you. The they did like a minute acapella, and I still went out. And then the host had to pull me off. And that was the, your first time. That was my first time at Gotham. Uh, and the, the luckily enough, the guy was like, "That was really good." You went a little over, but I'll have you on the next show. He's like, and then I was crazy. like, "I haven't learned a thing." <laughs> You know, like I, I see the potential. In I you. see the potential. I know you're fucking hammered it right was, now. Yeah. Uh, but. But that that was my that was my first time there. So I think that's a recurring theme for people getting on stage for the first time. It's yeah. nerve wracking. Oh yeah. No, and my first time so I blacked stupid. out. Yeah, you blacked. Like you literally, blacked out too? fully blacked out. It was. I did the class at the Comedy Cellar, and I my, did my first showcase. So that's like a three p.m. show. Uh yeah. You were lit. Yeah, I was gone. <laughs> Just yeah. fucking gone. day drinking Just, it up. I took. Like two tequila shots and drank like half a bottle of champagne. Oh my god! On an empty stomach. Yep. And then I went up. Yeah. Champagne feels like a good thing to drink at that time of day. Yeah, that's normal. And then I switched to the tequila shots. um, Right. And by the time I was up there, but I had I had practiced the set so many times that like my dead body could have died. Yeah, you were on autopilot. Literally. Yeah. So that's that's what happened to me. I got off stage and there I was like, did I say anything? Dead body, pretty much. I was. (laughs) No, I really. I went out to dinner with my family and this guy that I was dating at the time, and my I like started doing my set at the table. Apparently, it was. Oh god. So bad. You're like, remember this part? (laughs) (laughs) And then this, because I don't. Yeah, it was I usually good. always drink right before anything uh, nerve wracking. I don't for going on stage anymore. I'll make that clear. <laughs> um, you got bookers listening. To but you. I yeah no. But I I <laughs> I remember even like getting like my first. This might be too much, but whatever. My first like Brazilian this wax. This is the oh. too much. Podcast. And I and I got there ten minutes early, and I was ripping shots in the parking You're kidding. lot. Like a little you took handle. took shots to get a Brazilian? Uh, yes. I was <laughs> so nervous. That's the best thing I've ever heard. When I was just, yeah, yeah. That's really And funny. I was just like, when yo, I can't, I can't go in there sober. So I had a little, like, plastic yeah. handle. No, no, I walked in there, and I was like, let's <laughs> fucking do this. I'm, like, getting naked. They're like, not in here. <laughs> not in here. Wait for the room. I'm like, okay. <laughs> like, it was not. Was this in Ooh. college? No, no, this she was, was actually 11. last week. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> this was yesterday. No, this was like probably four or five years ago. Wow. Probably right when I started doing stand up. I was like, I need to be waxed for this. <laughs> 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 I don't know what kind of show it's going to turn into, yeah. but I need to be prepared. I heard things about the business and I got to be Yeah, bald. yeah, exactly. That's yeah. incredible. It's yeah, it was a good it's time. That you, you I miss her. It's great that you, you miss I miss my waxer. Wax yeah, Jessica. She was, she was the <laughs> no. No, you don't miss the ball. No, bulb I had to switch waxers. I had her forever up until like last year. I literally would drive out to Long Island or like take the train what happened? to get Did a she fifteen go back minute to appointment. No, because then I was like, this is absolutely insane that I'm driving or like traveling an hour out <laughs> for While a fifteen minute appointment you dri- you, you yeah. to come back into the city. Like yeah, that was yeah, yeah. when I was living in Long Island, and uh, then I started doing that because I was like, 
I me and her just know so much about each right. other. Right, it's an intimate. I don't know. Yeah, very intimate. Yeah. You don't want to show that to everyone. So no, no. Choose. But now I don't care. But <laughs> well, I'm a slut. No, I um, I I got a new girl. I was telling you about her the other day. Where do you go now? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's on 14th Street. Because there's it's a place across the street, and I'm like, oh. Really? Yeah. You I'll, I'll, I'll vet them out. I'll vet them out for you. Yeah, <laughs> I'll let them know. Please. I'll see if they're cool. Um, no, but my new chick is mad funny. She's like so crazy. She did something that I I wasn't sure about. She was she was there waiting, and then she got wing stop. Yeah, my lady. my yeah. I was like waiting to be buzzed in. I don't know why we had to buzz into the place because mm-hmm. it's like European wax. Because the truck motherfucker showing up at the last. But trip. yeah, they're like, let me go steal that wax. <laughs> it's hot. Um. But the dude behind me was, like, coming in with me when they opened the door. And I was like, what the fuck? And he's like, wing stop? And I was like, that's not for me. And then the girl was like, oh, that's for Cynthia. And that's that's my chick I that's go to. That's amazing. But I was like, yeah, you better do this first and then eat. Right. Because the fingers yeah. and the hot sauce, mm-hmm. it just gave me, gave me a scare. Yeah. Is, wait, would you say? That's yeah. Welcome back to Hot Ones. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Yo, right? Hot Ones. Today's guest. Wax. Wing edition. <laughs> Oh my god. Wait, for coming. <laughs> <laughs> Would you say drinking it. to get a wax is the weirdest thing you drank for? Um mm. I might have a drinking problem, so no, that no, doesn't this, this is a judgment free zone. I yeah. I love the niche that's a unique scenario. Uh drinking yeah, I before shit? Drink no, I drank before wax. my graduation. Yeah, but that's good. But that's yeah. common. Yeah. But walking across the stage, you know, they like yeah. do the um uh, you on the big screen. You never went to school. No, um, I, I studied. <laughs> never graduated. I grew up on you a farm. You capped out at ninth grade. Yeah. You dropped uh, out. I grew up on a farm, and then I was drafted for the Iraq War. Right. I was Thank a, God he a, got out of that. Yeah, I was a decoy for one of bin Laden's wives. Yeah. I did that for about 10 years. Mm. Yeah. And, and how'd that go? Political. It went well. Did you ever uh, go in the cave? Did she get you in there? He, well, she, uh, what, as in bin Laden? The wife. I was one of his wives. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's what they had me that disguised as. That is so yeah. much clearer Make it pretty now. Girl. Okay, now I believe it. A little it. too old for him, but um, <laughs> I went. Uh, he went into my cave. We'll just say that. Oh, um, that's good. It's more like SEAL Team Sex. You guys are close. Did you go to his funeral? We were close. Uh, we his funeral was at sea, <laughs> and yeah. I tried to jump in <laughs> after him. And they pulled me right back up. Oh, God. Yeah. It's it like was a, there was a lot of tears. It's like almost a Titanic love story. It was. There was. Yeah. Uh, uh, we, uh, we, it, it, my whole world sank. It wasn't just the boat. Yeah. Um, Anyways. I got too deep <laughs> in the cover. We'll just say that. It was yeah. a Donnie Brasco situation. That's what happens. Yeah. You become the person you're, yeah. and you're then, faking. Then I turned nine. <laughs> God damn it. I knew <laughs> it was going to happen. It happened on the other podcast, too. That all just synced up. Uh, that's yeah. That's perfect. Yeah. That's a perfect end card. Okay, so um, graduation, that's fairly normal. Yeah. Yeah, right, yeah, your yeah. waxing scenario really takes a cake, I'd say. I'm trying to think of myself what yeah, I well, would oh. drink for dates often. Like dates. I would get yeah. wasted for dates. That's again normal. But I would think that's <laughs> normal but pre-game. it doesn't it's it's a bad foot to set a date off. Bad, because like, you're going out for drinks. Like I would take yeah. shots before going out for well, drinks. Well, because you're nervous. Right. You know, did you I ever get a, a second sh- date? Can I tell you something? Uh, uh, sometimes, not always. It wasn't a good look just, for me. Yeah. Yeah. When I first was living in the city, I went out with this. I was 18. This woman was 36. And we went out um, to dinner. And then after dinner, we took a cab back up to Midtown. That's where the subway was. And she wanted to have a drink, but I couldn't go in. So I waited outside <laughs> while she went in and had a few shots. <laughs> And you just watch her from the window? Like a dog. No. Yeah. Yeah. Did you hook yeah. up with her? <laughs> Did I what? Hook up with her? Never once. Okay. We just remained friends. He's like, she got really drunk that in there, came out, and was like, I'm still not attracted to you. <laughs> 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 this is, I'm going to go like, home. No, he's still 18. I'll drop you still off. Yeah, I think that's for the best. Yeah, Thank she God. went out, but Chris Hansen came back out with her. What are you planning on doing here tonight? <laughs> I could see that. <laughs> uh, but that was... That was an opportunity I wish I drank for. That was the first time I got a ticket too that night because I spent all the money on the date and I didn't. Is that the one the that subway. ended you in jail because you had the no, warrant? No, no, no. This was the first time I got a ticket in New York, like a month living in the city. Okay. I jumped the turnstile. Right, but then isn't that the warrant? No, I got out? another ticket years after that. Was that turned into the warrant. Got it. I've lived a, a life of of oh, crime. You, you got no, crime. quite I'm the rap model. sheet. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I Three was just tickets, all for. Misdemeanor, nothing. <laughs> nothing. No, you didn't even Things get, you didn't even get any ass anymore. out of it. Except trains, you can still get 
They put people in jail for that shit because they just militarized the police department. Yo, that's MTA. fucked up. It's so fucked. Like, I there's so that. much shit that happens down there, and there's never a cop when it happens. Yeah. Now they tell you, the mayor came out yeah. and was like, take a picture of a cop if you see him on his phone. Really? Yeah. And then do what? Just send it somewhere? And then yeah, create, a, create an <laughs> album? What's your name? I'm going to yeah. add this to the photo. I'm going to send you in. No, it doesn't. That's I wouldn't do that. No, I wouldn't do it either. Because then I feel like he would lift his phone and be like, "All right, I got a picture yeah. of you now." And then I'd be like, "Fuck." <laughs> One time, I was wearing my work ID when I worked at the Empire State Building. I had it around my neck, and some guy followed me on Instagram, just based on that. Like, and it made me think, like, damn, it's really oh, like he saw your name and was like yeah. Troy Bond and Weird. searched you. He's like, I really, I really need this guy. But did DM yeah. you and was like, I saw your t- name so tag. Weird. How'd you know he followed you based he off? He DM'd of me and told me. He's like, do you want to hear the story of how I found out who you were? Do you want to know how I'm stalking Did you, you block sir? Him? No, I, I still follow him. He got like a kidney transplant recently. And it, you were What's the his match. Name? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Really doing I'm not pretty gonna, good. You always ask me on, on this podcast, what was his name? I'm not going to, I can't his put name that out there. was Robert Paulson. Sorry, you're Robert right. I'm, I'm never going to learn. I'm like, well, here, what? All what the was details. His name? Sorry. What Age, wait. Ethnicity. <laughs> I almost gave you my address too. I was like, type. "You really want to know my address?" I don't know. <laughs> I guess we're learning. I could have got it out of you. Definitely. Maybe. You better hope you don't ever commit a crime because they're gonna be able to talk you. Even if you don't commit a crime, they're gonna talk no, you. No, one time period. when I was uh, like 18, I was with friends and we were smoking, and we were going to see Brave, the Pixar movie, and we all got so Brave. high. And she was going really fast, but I didn't want to be like the paranoid friend. So I was like, all right, whatever. Then next thing you know, cop car is behind us pulling us over. My friend rolls the window down this much. <laughs> She's like, uh, can I help you? And he was like, do you know why I pulled you over? And we were like, no. And then she's like, he goes, you were uh, going 12 over the speed limit. And I was like, in my head, I was like, I knew it. You're like, I should have said it. something. So I'm in the back just having like an ultimate like breakdown. I'm seeing college going away. Like, I'm just seeing it ending. We're going to jail. Like, I'm going to be like a dishwasher. Like, that's what's happening in my mind. <laughs> Meanwhile, my friends are like playing, like, you know, they're trying to figure out what to do next. Yeah. So he goes, he takes all our IDs and goes back to the cop car. And I'm like, I like almost, I'm like, going to be like, guys, I need them to take me to the hospital because I'm having a panic attack. <laughs> and they're like, Tori, shut up. Meanwhile, there's like still a roach left. My one friend swallows that. My other friend rolls her fingertips in gum because she's trying to get rid of the weed smell. The cop comes back. He's like, all right. Um, Oh, and no, before that, he was like, ma'am, how much marijuana is in the vehicle? And that's when my, like, heart went into my ass. I was like, it's over. And then he just was like, at the end, they just let us go. What the fuck? Yeah, because my friends in Maryland. My friends stayed so composed. I was in the back, ready to be like, "I'll tell them where everything is." <laughs> like, hold on, Officer Johnson. I started smoking <laughs> when I was twelve. <laughs> She's white. Uh, Literally, and yeah, then I, he was like, "All right, just be safe." This and was, was like, in in Maryland. In uh, Cape Cod. Oh, okay. Yeah, a lot. Oh, that's a fine. lot less strict there. Yeah. Upstate, like. Dude, the state troopers are like such You're lucky we're dicks. backed up with Kennedys running over single women tonight. Otherwise, <laughs> yeah. you'd be in jail. We're still trying to catch the uh, Gilgo Beach motorists, so <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna let you go. We need all the time we can get on that. We got a long night of potato chip yeah. crimes ahead of us. They're like still still you twenty years in. You kids be safe in. out there. I was. You go on your way. I'm a cop in Cape Cod from Minnesota. I'm in Cape Cod. It's and a I'm long a cop. story. <laughs> I'm, I'm a Cape, Cape Cod cop. cop. <laughs> I'm Cape Cop. That accent's crazy. What's going too. on there? Oh yeah. There was a woman the other night on stage who had an accent like that, and her material was so dry, and it was so great. Just talking. Yeah, just because the accent like it gives yeah. you it gives you a leg like up. Fargo's so good just for that. Oh. Just the accent itself just flows out. It's like the Dude. closest thing. It's that 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 accent that oh yeah, that's kind of like American. Oh French. yeah, it's kind of like a mini Danka. Yeah, like yeah. you're from Minnesota. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go watch the game later. Now I'm going like Irish. Oh, yeah. I, I don't know. Yeah, you, accent. Wow. Uh, yeah. you, yeah, you, you do a really good Aussie oh, accent. Oh, the Aussie accent. Yeah, that wasn't it. Well, no, she'll get there. She's she's she'll get there. Well, because like, I was it's doing. transfer. It is. And I always like start changing it as I'm yeah. talking and go into like five different accents for no reason, which is what happened to me when That's I was fun. hosting a couple of weeks ago. And there was like an Australian couple. So then I just immediately started like mimicking their accent. It's like, oh, that's great. Like you guys are from down in Melbourne. And they're like, no. And I'm like, 
where where because i don't know <laughs> australia <laughs> and they're just like oh it was it was bad and then i couldn't break it and everyone was just staring and i was like all right sorry guys i'm gonna bring <laughs> up your next comic please tell me they're fucking here <laughs> and i was like jesus but um your fucking uh pullover weed story reminds me of uh my pullover weed story but it did not end as happy oh no um so we we were driving around i went to a community college uh for a little bit <laughs> and then I was a five-year senior, so I really took my time. But uh, so we were driving around, like, burn cruising in between classes. Smart. Burn cruising? And, yeah. What's that? I like that. Burn, oh, it might I call be, it hotboxing, but I like a oh, burn cruise. Hotboxing, yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, upstate, we're all just like, yeah. Burn cruising. Wanna go for a burn cruise, <laughs> brother? <laughs> we're going to jam out December the jazz cabbage. Burn cruise. Yeah, I'm like, get it. And my friend had a minivan because his mom gave Ooh, him that's his a old car burn or her old car. Crisis. Yeah, so like, but it was great because you could fucking fit everybody in that bitch. Yeah, like, yeah. we're like, hop on in, you slide the door, and smokes come out. Everybody like, gets a ride to soccer practice. Yeah, it's great. And then we all went, we're athletes. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> we were cruising and well, I'm guessing. Yeah, no, we were like, we were driving around and like, it was the opposite. They pulled us over because we were going too slow. <laughs> Because we were so high and just like talking or whatever. And then the the state trooper up there, like they're such assholes. Like he was, was like, this? get out of the car in Queensbury. Upstate New York. Yeah, like yeah. near Lake George and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like we're cruising and uh, he pulls us over and he's like, he makes us get out of the car. Like is like scaling the seats and like picking up like crumbs like actual food crumbs and being like is this weed and we're like nah bitch we smoked it all like it's gone so we were good in that regard but he could smell it and then he started giving me like the sober test because then he thought that like i was also just under all who's driving yeah, yeah, yeah. um my friend was oh, okay which is weird he like singled me I out say, i was like all right I think dude you go after the driver yeah so then uh so then he was just like all right and did the whole like follow this pen like walk a in a line all this stuff and I was like high, but I wasn't fucked up. Failed everything. <laughs> everything. <laughs> and he was like, Are you on any medication? And I'm like, No. Oh like, do I need God. to be? It was like fucking like <laughs> 11 a.m. I was just a little high. <laughs> and then the weird part was two weeks later, I'm with another group of friends and we're all hammered. Like, we were like trying to go to T Bell or something and uh, get some late night food. And this cop pulls us over. It's the same kind of thing, but it was a guy and a girl, so it was like a duel. You know, they came up on both sides, and I was like, oh, fuck. And then I came out, and I had a girl cop, so I was like, oh, I'm, I'm done. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. Right, I was just like, fair. I don't know. Was she hot? Um, I mean. I feel like it's either, either or. So Yeah, I was drunk, so I'd fuck, I'd fuck her. Yeah, probably I mean, at that point. <laughs> that, I, I had to get that. out of it, I probably would have <laughs> offered yeah, well, I'd be like, you, yeah, you. Yeah. One way or another. Yeah. Um. But I was asking because if she was hot, she'd probably be lenient toward you. But if she was yeah. kind of gross, she, I she mean, was it was like hard to tell. She was in a fucking cop uniform. You know, everything's covered up. She got a tight bun. What about know, her face? Very tight bun, her face, I don't know. I tried to forget it. But because yeah, then she you. gave me the sober test, the same thing I did two weeks ago. But I'm like blackout now. Passed every every test. Oh, wow. Isn't that fucking weird? It's almost like they don't have enough training. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's really like, you should, that's going to be an experiment. One, uh, how many times out of 10 you get pulled over do you pass? Yeah, when you're actually wasted. Test. Yeah. I don't know if my subconscious, like, like stored that information and then I was be like able yeah. to regurgitate it when I was drunk because I just you did it ready. two weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, bitch, let's go. How about your turn? Like, I don't <laughs> This was not your first rodeo. Yeah, yeah. Good times, though. I didn't get They're never going to be able to test people to see if they're stoned. You're yeah. never going to be able to prove that. I mean, it's pretty obvious. Your eyes are red. Yeah. Allergies. Prove yeah. it's not. In the middle of winter. Yeah. <laughs> prove it's not allergies. Fair enough. Yeah. yeah. I actually Want to order a pizza while we're here? <laughs> <laughs> prove it. Like, prove I'm high. Yeah, I guess you can't really. You do a blood test and we got to wait an hour on the side Dude, of the road? that's what... I was worried about I keep fucking burping. Okay. I don't know why. It's hot. <sighs> we often are. Yeah, there's been. Okay. Clips You're of doing us. it away from the mic, which I'm is good. important. Yeah, was, yeah. Uh, Only the people <laughs> watching are going to tell. The people listening aren't going to be able to yeah. tell. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. This is going to be a new kind of ASMR. Yeah. I Ooh, kinda, maybe I could red. do one. Just people do sell it. fucking farts in jars. Why can't I sell burps in jars? Do people sell farts in jars? Yeah. Allegedly. Yeah. 
For sure. Well, yeah, I'm wondering what's the lifespan of a fart, you know? Yeah. That woman <laughs> on Twitch was selling her bath long, water. How long does that stay in a jar? Who was selling their bath water? I don't even want to think about it. This girl oh. on Twitch was selling it for a while. Can you just go down to the Hudson and fucking just yeah, fill the jar up different. and be like, this is that's my bath water. water. Dead bodies. Yeah, this is really. How can you tell? That's more marinated. What do they do with it? Drink it? Bathe themselves yeah, in it? Yeah, it's a placebo. It's fucking weird, man. Yeah, I mean... It's. I feel like bath water would be really soapy. Mm. Can't drink it. I, there are just so many revenue streams you could go into these. There days. are. I, we so gotta. We gotta break into which I'm on cameo water. now. Right. How does that feel? Anyone request you yet? Uh, I I gotta do your the, mom. The vi- well, by the time <laughs> it's my mom. Yeah. I'm gonna see Troy. Uh, no, I haven't gotten any requests yet. Okay. But after this comes out. Ooh. Whoa. Um. Some cameos. <laughs> Dude, we did that for my At boss. We did a cameo because uh, he's like obsessed with the Lakers. So we did uh, LeBron James, but we couldn't get LeBron James for some reason. He like didn't accept our offer. Um, so we got like some other like kind of sub player. I don't know. I don't follow basketball. And uh, we were like, hey, we were so excited. And we showed him. And he was like, who is that? <laughs> who, is who is this? <laughs> is this? Your friend? He's like Israeli. I'm uh-huh. doing a terrible accent. Yeah, but he was. We're like, no. Like he's on the Lakers. He's like, Psh, he's not the Laker. F- he's not the Laker player. <laughs> I'm like, spend? what? Yeah, it was like fifty bucks. Okay. But we split it between like ten oh, of us, so yeah, really yeah. it was five. But still, right. we were a little heartbroken. We were like so amped up to show well, him, and he literally was like, I could give two fucks about this. Yeah. And I was like, God damn. I got my mom a cameo. Before it was really a thing, and uh, it was from this guy from one of her favorite soap operas, and I What's didn't her tell her it was General Hospital. And uh, that's the longest Fast, running that's one. That's, one. Yeah, yeah, that's the that's OG the right I there. Got her, I got her a cameo from the Maurice Bernard, who plays Sonny Corinthos on General Hospital. And I may have watched a few episodes with her, um, but <laughs> no shame. I, it was before cameo was like a thing thing, and I like didn't want to tell her how I got it. I was like, I made some calls and I was able to get this I was video. just going to say, like did he you said her name and all this other stuff. You send in a message. And yeah. I, and I was like, I know some people in the business. My son's doing okay. Just made a couple of calls to Maurice. Oh my Maury, God. As I call him. Do you ever tell her that it was just a, app? she figured it out okay. eventually. eventually. Yeah. She knows her son's a pathological liar, but, um, that's good. Yeah. That's it's, good. it's why, uh, I, we live in different States cause the judge says we have to, <laughs> Separating families. Separating That's families. What Ca- Connecticut's known for that, you yeah. know. Whether it's by uh, cameo problems cameo or murder, or opioids you know? or murder. Like the fucking. Well, she probably oh doesn't. Yeah, she yeah, probably yeah. doesn't know this story. We were doing a show at um, the Stress Factory. It was in like January. It was your birthday show or some shit. Yeah. And uh, so, like, it's a great show. We're all leaving. I walk out, and then like me and my ex are going to our car. And uh, does he get ex at the time? No, okay. no. <laughs> well, it's complicated. Right. Nice. Um, I hope timeline. he never sees this. So, <laughs> <laughs> we'll cut that part. So out. We're, yeah, cut Sorry. that. No so we're questions. we're going uh, to the uh, car and we're leaving or trying to. It's like a snowstorm and fucking. We see all these cops like starting to like whip out the caution tape and we're like, yo, like. Our car's right there. Like, it was right behind it. Mm-hmm. And they're like, no, it's a crime scene, active crime scene. And we're like, what do you mean? And they're like, yeah, there was a shooting. Watch out. You, there's some shells here. And they're, like, scooting it with their feet. And I'm like, dude, what? I was like, they're like, where are you coming from? I was like, I just did a show at the stress factory. And they're like, well, you missed quite a show out here. And they I was like, that? all right. They yeah. said that? Yeah. Oh my God. And I was like, what the fuck? And there's just, like shell casings everywhere the guy's like there might be blood you might walk around and we're like what the fuck like i'm i'm like i i'm in connecticut i don't live here i live in the city like so um things like this never happen in yeah, new york ain't yeah. no way ain't no how yeah. no i'm like i usually would just go through and be like fuck you <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah. take the car in connecticut they're like being, hold the phone uh-huh. they're like this is fresh hold up here charlie we have to wait for the detective to get on the scene we ain't seen action like this since the first time harriet came up it was a lot but then i was like Tubman. we went around the block and we tried to go to the other side and like talk to the other cop and uh-huh. see like our luck there and uh, that guy was being a douchebag, too. I mean, douchebag. He's just doing his job. Right. But uh, I was it's like, fuck this. It's cold. I'm like, it's cold as fuck. So then I pretended. I don't know why I did this. I pretended that I was like three months pregnant. And I was like, I can't be in the <laughs> cold like this. this. Oh, I didn't tell you that. <laughs> yeah, because me and my ex were like, yo, how can we get out of this? He's like, 
I don't know, pretend you're pregnant. I feel like they're gonna <laughs> they're gonna give you the same. It works every time. time. It was so weird though, and I was like, okay, yep. And I'm like, how big is my were stomach? Well, how far along am I? What's the child's name? Were you sober? Because I feel like that's a drunk thing I would do. I'd be like, yeah, sure, that sounds like. A yeah, I don't, I don't think I was wasted. I, I don't like think I was sober. Get away with doing that so Probably just though. buzzed, and I was like, yeah. this sounds yeah, like a good plan. Yeah, I just plan. think like for me to commit to something like that, I just be like, you know what? Uh, but like, yeah. that's a move. Yeah. Well, then he kind of like took took the steering wheel after that and was like, yeah, like my wife is pregnant. I'm like, now we're married. Like we just started like <laughs> getting yeah. away from it, and then we got in the car. Finally, they let us. It worked, and then we were leaving, and I'm like. So who are we? God damn it, Jim. You can't hold a wife and, and her husband here. <laughs> <laughs> once pregnant, it's in the statute. That's when I broke up with him, right there. Right after that. You're like, Listen, <laughs> yeah. you lied way I'm too much. I'm like, easy this is weird. I, I just saw our life, and yeah. I don't like it. I don't, I don't like, like being this. pregnant. I don't like being your wife. I have been till tomorrow, and it well. is frightening. Yo, so bad. That's really funny. Actually. Oh, God. I didn't know that. I pretended a lot of things to get in and out of things. That's... <laughs> How to get in handcuffs and out of them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Three well, months pregnant yeah. is good because no one can push back on that. Yeah, and I was and in a big coat. No one knows what that means. And yeah. they can't push you. I, don't know I, what didn't, know, I didn't know what that meant either. Pregnant. I was I like, are like, we, do we know the sex? What if they ask what we're going to name it? Like, we got to have a yeah. fucking response. And he's like, what? No. <laughs> like, it's fine. It's only three months. You probably just found out last week. Yeah, yeah. I'd be like, we were actually just at the gender reveal, you piece of shit. Mm-hmm. You don't even know what Stress the is bad is. for the what? baby. Too far. <laughs> Yo, literally. I'm like, it's not. Damn. <laughs> could, be, could be a number of three people right now, sir. I'm going through a lot. Oh, God. Uh, was the shooting like crime scene. bad? Was anyone shot? Yeah. Yeah, they got someone. They didn't die. die. Yeah, they, they got him. We yeah, they got him. For no reason, baby. Dude, it, it was right outside of the police station. And right yeah. before I was talking to you, and you're like, no, it's safe over here. You got the police station right there. And I was like, okay. And then I walked out into that. Well, so, yeah, that was fun. I that they were there right after. Yeah, they weren't. They still had a fucking way. time. They still still were kind of chilling. It's a good show, though. It was a good show. That was fun. It's a good birthday show. Yeah. you Yeah, the, your birthdays you are always pretty good. You did two birthday shows. One at Broadway, one there. One at Broadway, one at... Stress Factory. Nice. And then they didn't produce. I was supposed to do another one in February, but I went down to uh, pushed it University to of August. Washington. Pushed mm. it to August. <laughs> uh, University of D.C. Uh, or jo- University, George Washington University. Yeah, I was like, there nice. we go. I got there eventually. Third time's the charm. Yeah. I would like to talk to college kids. I feel like I have something to It's talk so about. much fun. I love college shows. Yeah. I do like an hour and a half at colleges. It's so great. I'll do like an hour and then I'll do a Q&A. Then I'll do some more material. And they, it's just a blast. What's the Q&A about? Like they just, I'll just ask like, you anything? Any, I'll like get to a point where I'm like, I talked a lot. Does anybody have any questions for me? Like who are you? They'll ask me. Hey, who the fuck like, is this guy? Who the fuck are you? Last, last, tra- <laughs> last time I was at a college, a kid was like, he was having like relationship problems. Like he was being friend zoned, and was like, and we all like went into it and had a good time. Well, then it chilled. just became a therapy session. It was a big ass therapy session nice. that we were all having a good time. Do you think at, you give good advice? Uh, good relationship advice? No. No, he killed himself oh, shortly after. Yeah, right after that, and then all of his classes. And then your your college doors were canceled. Yeah, it was rough. That like, makes I'll sense, sense why it but we, it's fun. Like it's just it's fun that that to have that because it's a good audience. But that right after the show, I went out to drink with them. And I was like, ah, I can't be here. I'm just drinking with a bunch right. of college kids. Oh, yeah. Because, like, they're really mature c- college kids. Yeah. But, like, they all uh, are all, like, 21, 22, right. 20. Not that I'm much older than that. But, like, there's a difference. I think your difference. 20s, you grow so much year over year. Anytime yeah. I look back at last year, I'm like, Right. Ugh. Like, this yeah. is a big moment for them. And I don't even, like, go out drinking with, like, the coolest people I know, which are comedians in the city. Like, we, I don't even go out with them. Like, because you're too I immediately good. felt. No, just because, like, I'm. Because I'm what? I said, you're, you're too, too good. good. No, no, I just <laughs> like. Like, you are beneath me. I can't out of my way. It. No, it's just. <laughs> it's like a chunk. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what it is. I'm like, no eye contact. Uh, yeah. No, it's on your rider, actually. Yeah, you no, go. yeah, green M&Ms only. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's good. But yeah, I hope no, that actually one day you do something like that. Just next time I do colleges. People. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, somebody. I'm doing Florida next month, and they asked me for a rider. And I was like, I don't have No one way. Man. They asked you for a rider? Yeah. Most just say in green fairness, M&Ms. most places I go on the road do. Cool, I can't for wait for Ooh. someone to ask. Me like that. I don't have anything to ask for. No eye contact. I'm such a bitch. Like Fiji water only. Wh- only, uh, only thing I really want is to be left alone for like an hour. 
while I'm there so I could... A masturbation tent? <laughs> a masturbation tent. I want my own room and a tent inside that room. You're like, I don't care <laughs> if it's a wigwam or a yeah. fucking teepee. Exactly. I need to feel like authentic. So the rest of the room doesn't feel the sin. Hey, like and I need okay, sage to burn. That. I gotta jerk off Think uh, holy. Think about Louis C.K. Yeah. just asked for that in his rider. You he can. Was, I'm not surprised. If and I, asked I for will a curtain, take I that. Get one. If I ask for a masturbation yeah. curtain, I guess I would need two. Just thinking out loud here. That's all. Yeah. Thank you for inspiring that. Yeah, That's yeah, no, I'm, I'm looking out. Yeah. Good. Next time I do a college, I'll bring one of you with me. And then the next time I do one, I'll bring the other one. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Troy. Wow, you Great. spoil us. <laughs> no, you, you, you. Help us. We're actually <laughs> captured right now. <laughs> <laughs> he won't let us leave. I need, the, I, I need, uh, there's not a lot of women doing the college circuit. I have a lot to you know, I, had a, I had a college circuit. Comedy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you That's, did. Yeah. Comedy I can't go back. And it's a woman who got me my college agent. Emma Wilman got me my college agent. Oh, really? Um, but comedy's a boys club. Yeah. A lot yes. of the time, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. I like that you're telling us. You're telling me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm well asking. Like no, no, no. Yeah. I'm asking. I'm asking. <laughs> it is. Yeah, it's, a, it's rough out here for a lady. the only two women I know. Yeah. That's not true. <laughs> In the world. In the world. <laughs> In my mom. Yeah, it's yeah. definitely. <laughs> I mean, at open mics, it's the most apparent. You walk in. Nor- like, normally, there's only one other girl there. Yeah. So, at yeah. the bottom of the barrel, yes. But as you rise, it gets a little more balanced. Yeah. But it's definitely, I mean, lineups, Are it only has. Are you intimidated by that? I like it. I, I like being a minority. Like I think it helps. I think it helps give me my edge. It's like, yeah, I'm a white girl, but there's only one of me, you know. Kind only of one white room. girl. That's <laughs> me. No, but it, I no, think I it helps like give me an edge. But also, yeah. I have to hold myself to a certain standard because if I'm the only white girl and I'm bad, then it's like, oh, yeah, oh, you gotta represent. So, yeah, it's more um, pressure, but also yeah. more of the edge thing too. I agree. Also, I had someone, a comic at Broadway on Monday, tell me I was funny. And he was like, women comics, they just talk about the same thing, but you do it different. And I was like, that was the most backhanded compliment I have ever <laughs> heard. Was that even a compliment? Yeah. What? I don't and like you, most I think he was women, trying. Everyone like around us was like, more. ooh, man. Like, that's not. And yeah. he didn't get it. And he kept doubling down. He's like, no, no. You guys all say the same thing. Yeah, you just do it differently, and I'm like, no. Yeah, but you know what? So do do. Yeah, like, try that again. You say it differently. Like, uh, but it was, <laughs> yeah, it really Lord. got in my head though, because I'm like thinking of all my topics. I'm like, yeah, yeah. but those <laughs> people will never be you. That's the important right. thing. Yeah, think. yeah, you gotta Thanks, sell yourself, right. not like Kanye prostitution. There's only one of me. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's always people who are gonna be like, the the one thing that's that's always rough is going on after somebody who's doing material that touches on a subject like yours. Yeah. It could be rough to do that, and you always want to kind of shuffle it up if that does happen. But it's your perspective still, you know? Yeah. You know how many people talk about, how many people, how many of you guys here on the apps? Oh, my God, dude. How long have you guys been together? I can't even do those. I'm single. I'm in a relationship. Yeah. I can't. I'm horny. I'm scared. I'm an introvert. I'm an extrovert. Yeah. You got to smoke weed? You got to smoke weed? <laughs> Anyone Any here drunk? smokers in the house? You guys uh, drinking? What are you drinking? I don't drink, drink anymore. Yeah. yeah, no, you're right. Everybody has. And you you're know right. what? People laugh. There's Some of my favorite comics are hacks. Yeah. You want to name them? Yeah, he's like, <laughs> and yeah. let me get out my list. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Troy's name hit all, list. Name all the hacks. All the hacks. <laughs> Some guy came up to me at... Uh, a club the other night and he was like dude i saw you got in a two ac- two car accident and he gave me that the, the tiger weed bomb pen. Oh. Uh, oh yeah yeah he gave me that weed pen and then he was like let me know if you need anything stronger and i was like my painkiller guy went to jail jokingly and he pulled out a bag of coke out of his wallet oh, that, yeah. oh and god handed it to me and i was like what is this he's like coke and i'm like i'm good dog i'd be like that's good. so cool of him <laughs> yeah he really wanted like to help. That was a nice thing for him to do. That would I feel like that would make me uh think about the the pain more. Yeah. You know? Right? I yeah. feel like hyper focused. Think about it every yeah. ten years. I can't I can't yeah. do Coke anymore. What happened when you broke your elbow? Um oh like the whole fucking thing? Yeah. I mean when did you sure. break your elbow? I mean, the whole thing. No, nah, well, because I did it on the other one, so I don't uh but no one fucking Nobody remembers. That yeah. was before I was uh a sex symbol. Oh yeah. Is that so self proclaims or did someone tell you that? Hmm? <laughs> hmm? 
Was he was assigned. It was, was assigned. Oh, got yeah. it. Yep. At yep. birth. Got yes. right. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. That's yeah. yeah. Sorry. I had a whole brain life. fart. I had a brain fart. Yes. Yep. I like yeah. that. With that comes a power. Right. I'm basically the Julia Fox of the comedy. Wow. Theory. What's it like carrying that title? It's, it's a Heavy. weight off my shoulders and not a lot going on in my head. That makes sense. I Sounds feel like actually that's really that's par for like the course. Meditative for you. That's good. Yeah. Is that good? Hole in one. <laughs> Birdie. Birdie. Just start saying golf yeah, terms. Yeah. Tiger PGA Woods. Tour. <laughs> Eagle. <laughs> Tiger Woods. Prostitution. Prostitution. I'm still in the same park. <laughs> Accountability. Oh, my God. I think we all just had a stroke. Yeah. But back to the so elbow too. story. Back to the elbow story. Oh, yeah. I mean, the story. Because I didn't break my elbow, but I had an elbow injury, and you had a similar. Yeah, yeah. I fell off uh, an electric scooter. Um, yeah, I just taken an edible. And uh, it didn't kick in yet. It didn't kick in until I got to the hospital. And uh, that that was when it was bad because I was just like, what is going on here? And this is like, Pete, that was almost a Seinfeld. Um, <laughs> 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 what is the deal with the elbows? No, so I'm <laughs> I was in the waiting room forever because it was like COVID time, like peak COVID time. And so they're obviously taking care of everyone but me. And then after a while, a guy came over and, like, put a sling on me. And he's like, hi, my name's Ryan. I'm going to help you out. And I was like, thank you. Um, put me in a sling. And then I'm, like, really, like, high at this point. And then finally a guy comes over with a wheelchair. And he's like, hey, I'm Ryan. I'm going to I'm gonna bring you to the x-ray. And I was I'll like, oh. Surfer for today. I was like, cool. He brings me in. The guy taking my x-rays is like, hey, I'm Ryan. I'm going to be taking your x-rays. And I'm like. Am I, like, just really high? Everyone's name is Ryan. Or, yeah, and I was like, am I hearing them wrong? So then the chick who leads me out of there, her name is Ryan. No. So I talked to the nurse dude, whatever, that I first saw, and I was like, yo, everyone who helped me today is hmm. named Ryan. He's like, oh, yeah, you got the Ryan shift. And I was like, what? He's like, yeah, sometimes our schedules work out, and we're all on the same shift. And I was like, that is so holy funny. shit. I thought I was going crazy Wait, and was broken. We, could, we all have to share one name tag. Yeah, and I was like, oh, you guys should switch it up. You know, <laughs> like, fuck it. Be like Jasmine today. Who cares? Yeah. But maybe that's unprofessional. I don't know. <laughs> They're like, I lied to a patient. I like um, Ryan. I like that, that in the midst of, you dealing with a medical crisis, you're still encouraging everyone to be individuals. Different. Don't be yourself. Yeah. yeah. Pick a new name. I'm like, change, lie, pretend you're pregnant, whatever. Right now. Fuck it. <laughs> Get a new job. Yeah. Yeah. It was a good vacation other than that. It was oh, only yeah, like halfway own. through. Ooh. And, uh, and then we went to Joshua Tree for the other half of the trip. So I'm just like hiking the rocks and like whatever in a sling. They gave me no painkillers, so I was just like all Sounds natural. Painful. Yeah, it was bad. But then I, you know, my friends had drugs because we were at Joshua Tree, right, so naturally. I was using that as my crutch. But uh, I would see a bunch of people like hiking and families and stuff, and they're all like staring at my arm, I'm like, "Yeah, this happened today. Fell right off that rock over there. You better be careful." Like scaring kids. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> like, <laughs> no one's safe. I gotta make something That's good out good. of this. Keep them safe. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Everyone just ran out of there. Perfect family vacation. <laughs> Boogeyman, slender manning her way through the yeah. woods. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Must have really trusted that friend group to go hiking with them with a broken arm. Yeah, I mean, I was kind of just, you like, doing my own thing. Out there? No, we had, like, an Airbnb, but it was okay. in the middle of the desert. Yeah. And so it was, like, this really cool, like, indoor-outdoor situation. They had, like, this cowboy tub, and it was just this big, like, like tub, tub, like, where you, yeah, Pepsi? basically. Pepsi, yeah. yeah, you could sell that bath water. That would probably get you some was shit. Wild, wild yeast. If you drank yeah. that, who knows what would wild happen. Wild, wild yeast. <laughs> that was good. It was cool, though. It was cool. What do you, what do you guys... <laughs> What do you guys do in your free time? You, <laughs> <laughs> you do uh, travel a lot, I feel like. Yeah. Like yeah. On Instagram, yeah. Always, like, a lot somewhere. Of, it's cool. A lot of bachelorettes, unfortunately. Don't do it. Yeah. I'm done with those. Dude, I'm they're done. so fucking annoying. If anyone's watching this, they want to invite me. I'm not coming. Don't. Yeah. That I would got do asked a to be someone's groomsman last night because he didn't have a lot of friends. So they were planning the wedding, and they were like, "We can't have any bridesmaids because he doesn't have any groomsmen." And I was like, "I'll be a groomsman." And they were Who? Like, oh, we worked sorry. it all out, and then they What's were like, their name? "We gotta meet no him." Friends? Like a rando? Yeah, a friend of a friend. Okay, so Are a you rando? Do it? <laughs> yeah, I told him I'd do it. Yeah, when's the wedding? Person. We wow. worked out all the details, and they were like, "Oh yeah, wait, you gotta meet him first. Oh my god, that's but sad. I'll do it. But also, I'm nice. a groomsman for hire. How I'll much? Do it. How much is it paying? 
Uh, <laughs> you have whatever, to pay. I hope there's open bar. That's what it'll pay. Yeah. I'll be anybody's best friend for a few Are you cocktails. gonna do the best best? You'd be uh, a good wedding crasher. Best be, man yeah, speech. Yeah, I'll give, give a speech. speech. Yeah. Well, you're a groomsman. You're not the best man, right? Yeah, That'd be fucked someone up. Someone should oh, give you a microphone. I don't know if he has one. I'll be bold. <laughs> you, you, you just change into there's another no, talk. There's no best men. This guy has no guys. That's sad. So you go to weddings in your free time, is what you're no, saying? No, I don't. I've only been to like. Two. My dad DJed weddings when I was a kid, oh so yeah. I went to so many, and I hate weddings so much. Yeah, I they're a lot. Them. They're expensive. They're yeah, exhausting. Yeah, I went to two that. weddings. Yeah. One was my cousin, and one was my grandfather's when he got remarried at eighty something. That's awesome. Yeah, Dude. I got to give a speech then. I was his best man for that one. Oh, yeah, that is nice. Was sweet. Dude, remember I was fucking. I was like, "What's up, motherfuckers?" <laughs> That's my grandpa. They can't hear. <laughs> they can't hear anything. Patriot, just yeah. like, you Sweet boy. Your what? <laughs> I'm like giving up my pop slinging dick at 84. <laughs> Pull one out for grandma. That's great. We couldn't be here today because she died. She did. My, my before <laughs> I gave the speech, my mom was like, "Make sure you don't mention your grandmother." And I was like, "I'm not going to." And then you did. Be like, we're all here today because grandma's dead <laughs> <laughs> if grandma didn't sacrifice herself he wouldn't be here today happy as can be like, you eulogy to your grandmother instead <laughs> yeah. Yeah. she was well, an she amazing was, woman yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, right? i don't know so, why the fuck she was with this guy some say irreplaceable <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man well that's the man. theme for today's podcast is yeah, second yeah. chances that's good this is our third time having you on and our second chance at podcasting Math yeah. doesn't add up on that, but it doesn't. It's but it's okay. Just we'll, overwhelmed we'll roll with for you for having you on. Yeah. Uh, and before you go, I want to tell everyone about your tell anyone but tell everyone about tell anyone but. This is new oh yeah, yeah. Right yeah. Sometimes I I draw, um, <laughs> and I uh, put it on T-shirts and I sell Fun. it. Yeah. Where do you sell these? Uh, on on my website, tell anyone but dot com. Yeah, yeah. Um. Just like random graphic stuff, not like graphic, violent, sexual. Could be. Could if be. I'll take requests on what people want to wear. Uh, but yeah, just little simple drawings, you know, Fine. like one line things. Um, they can get it on telling. They can look at it telling one butt dot com. Yeah, yeah. I don't know when or how I came up with that name either. Like sounds slutty. Yeah. Tell well, then I started drawing sluttier things yeah. as I I created yeah, more out. art, and then I was like, okay, tab. Tell anyone but. Tab. Tab. And then I was like, tab of acid. Then I got weird with it. Then I was just yeah. like creating cartoon it stuff. Oh, it's a mess. I don't know. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Tell that's like my but. bad celery. I've got my own back burner bad shit. Bad celery. Yeah, that's bad right. Badcelery.com. Really? Yeah, I just sell uh, shirts that say do less. Oh, them. that's fucking Thanks. great. But they should do more and buy it, right? Right. Well, yeah. yeah. So why Unless they're know. like, should I? We're all running <laughs> our little sweatshops out here. We are. Podcast. Yeah, we are. We're, We're hustling. We're to the end. Um, I did want to tell you a quick story. Tell me. Of this past Saturday. So the, I saw you the day after and I didn't tell you, but. Oh, wow. You've been saving this. I know. Because well, I was thinking about it last night. And, um. So I went to the drive-in uh, theater in Brooklyn. Fun, so I've been wanting to do that. Yeah, have you seen it? It's fucking dope. Oh, you've seen photos. Yeah, yeah. it's cool. Um, so you have a car? No. <laughs> 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 so I walked in the drive-in. She has a okay. gun. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, and I was like, fuck this <laughs> shit. Overprivileged, you got uh, cars. That's what movies are for, so. Yeah. <laughs> so then I go there, but I took shrooms before. Uh, just to keep it interesting. Right, obviously. Um, I got a movie so and so there. I was walking in and I was already confused. Because um, I was, <laughs> no car I was like to the walking theater, in the line with the cars. And then it like started hitting me. And were I was you like alone? I was like, this feels wrong. No, I was with a friend. I wish you um, were alone for this story. Sorry. Yeah, I know, me too. Um, <laughs> but so we're, we're both like feeling it and we're standing in between the cars like it's a drive through and then a worker comes over and is like, what the fuck are you two doing? And I'm like, shit, we're caught. Like, <laughs> and I'm just like starting to trip balls. I'm like, I don't rooms. know. Like, what are you Fuzz. doing? And then she's like, no, like, you can just walk in. You have to wait in the car line. You're people. I'm like, we are people. You're right. <laughs> we are human. Yes. Yeah. I'm like, I'm still <laughs> here. I exist right now. So we walk just in. Just on a different dimensional plane. Yeah. We walk in because, like, she scans the tickets and then she's like, you know, bombarded because it's one person dealing with all these fucking assholes, like, trying to drive in and, like, go. Uh, so she's like, yeah, just go straight ahead. We're like, it's this screen because there's three screens. Mm -hmm. So we're like, is it this screen? She's like, yeah, straight ahead. And we're like, all right. So we get in there 
out there and we fucking sit in these like lawn chairs they have set up it's pretty cool and we're sitting there and we're like you know like getting into it like i'm starting to like hallucinate a bit and um and then all of a sudden we're like wait like we're watching the previews and they're not catering to the movie that we were trying to see which was top gun (laughs) it was only three options it was top gun us and the beast which is that new movie with i just alba And we're sitting there and we're like, dude, and then we're so fucked up that we're like, even if it's the wrong movie that plays, we have to sit here. I can't picture getting yeah. up and walking to another screen with my chair and just dragging it out <laughs> like er, as they're like nightmare. going in pitch perfect. So we're sitting there. and then <laughs> Yeah, right. So we're like looking around and then we're trying to gauge the crowd to guess what the movie is going to be. And we see like a bunch of older couples and like families and stuff. And we're like, this seems like a Top Gun crowd. And like as we're talking about that, the screen goes blank. And then there's this photo montage of, like, this cute couple. No. And it was, like, really random. And I'm just, like, fucked up sitting there. And I'm, like, waiting for it to be, like, an A24 movie or something. Right. Yeah, yeah. And then all of a sudden it goes blank. And it's, like, will you marry me? I almost shit my fucking pants because I was with my ex. But the pictures weren't of us as a couple. Oh, but I'm shit. tripping balls. So I'm just, like, what is happening? And then I look over it, and it's the fucking people right next to us, and he's proposing. Uh, And she's like, yes, oh, my God. And I'm, like, so fucked up, and I'm, like, looking over. I'm like, is this real? Is this really happening right now? And then she's like, yes. And then someone's like, she said yes. And then a fuck ton of people come out from their cars. I guess, like, he invited all the family, friends, and shit. So chaotic. Honking their horns, like, flashing the headlights, and they're all, like, freaking out. She's crying, and I'm just, like, tripping balls. Like, what the fuck? And then, yeah. I, then they all left, and I was like, well, yeah, I guess if you, like, propose, like, could you imagine if they sat down, and he's like, all right, now let's watch Top Gun. <laughs> like, <you know? laughs> yeah, wait, so when, like, when did you I watch? would do that. Like, you obviously leave, yeah. but I was just like, oh, no, I was going to watch the Maverick. movie? Yeah, I watched the movie. Okay. So they, they got played, in their cars. You were in the right place. And then they, and then they played Top Gun, and we were correct in our assumption. Okay. Everything worked out. Sweet, but you think it's going to be, like, a, a yeah. fun little time, and then, like, halfway through the movie, you just see rats running, like, Ew. all along. And everyone's got their nachos and snacks yeah. on the ground. Oh, and I don't just like that at all. So you're in. still, yeah, you're still in the city. So you should have a car. You hear the cars honking, the music playing. There's, like, a really intense, like, sex scene. And then you just, like, hear, like, guacamole, 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 <laughs> like, yeah. driving by. Yeah. It was, uh, no matter I wouldn't w- go again. Whenever you do something like that in the city, that's kind of the ambience to it. We yeah. Like Empire Strikes Back in Astoria Park a couple of weeks ago. And it was fun. We had a good time. But, the, yeah. like... Once it was dark, I was like, there's things scurrying around right yeah, now. Yeah, like could you be a crackhead, could be a rat. You hear it before you see it. Yeah, no, that's oh, it. Oh, that's, that's the worst. That's the last thing you hear. I'm fucking sweating balls. Sorry. And that's no, the last thing they'll hear on this <laughs> episode. <laughs> burping, balls, burping balls, baby. Slater Harrison, burping balls, sweating balls, balls galore. Tell Dude, anyone but like Slater Harrison. Slater. Well, that's the theme for our you're pod. Reliving I your need moment. to start carrying I think you're yeah. reliving Saturday night I'm right now. I actually took shrooms before this. Yeah. I didn't want to say anything. Gotta get anything. to a hospital. Holy shit. Thank Only you. if they're named Ryan. That guy. <laughs>